going about the Father's business. When our Lord Jesus Christ returns, we want him to see us going about the Father's business. So what do I mean by the Father's business? Well, first of all, it means sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, which means leading people to the truth that the only path to salvation back to the immediate presence of God Almighty is through his Son, Jesus Christ. Redemption, from the crucifixion through the resurrection, God's amazing saving grace through his free gift of salvation. Our Lord Jesus Christ also lists some specific things as well. I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did it to me. As believers, followers, disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is our responsibility to follow his command love one another. We must realize it's each of our responsibility to lead people to the truth, but also to help them to spiritually grow. We are to encourage them to read God's Word, the Holy Bible, to tell them that God Almighty speaks to them as they read His Word, and I'm not talking only about the words they read, but what God says to them in their hearts. We are to encourage them to pray on a daily basis because it's their opportunity to speak to God Almighty directly. We are to remind them that when they accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, that Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, comes to abide within them. Jesus is with them always. Wherever they go, Christ walks with them. When they are at home, laying in a bed, or sitting in a chair, Jesus is sitting in a chair near them, and they can talk to him just as easily as they can talk to anyone else. Jesus is right there. Whenever they need a comforting hug or a shoulder to cry upon, we are to help them understand that their way of thinking must change. Their priorities must change from them first to God Almighty must come first. Their first thought of the day should be, what does my God wish for me to do for him today? Part of Jesus' command to love one another is thinking of other people before we think of ourselves. Did you catch that? Think of other people before we think of ourselves. When Jesus Christ walked this world, what do you think he did each day? First, he reminded them that the reason he was here was to release them from the bondage of sin. In other words, without his presence, when each of us leaves this world, we would never be in God's immediate presence, forever punished. Now, through him, the ultimate sacrifice of his own life, he paid the debt once for all, so that we each have the opportunity to be in God's immediate presence when we leave this world. The rest of his time, he took care of their physical needs. Jesus fed those who sat and listened to him. Jesus healed all types of physical ailments, including resurrecting the dead. So, fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, our responsibilities include sharing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, but also taking care of physical 
mental, emotional, and spiritual needs of fellow believers, yet to be believers, and yes, even unbelievers, which includes providing food and drink, clothing and shelter, but also taking the time to visit those who are sick or in prison and those who are physically, mentally, or emotionally unable to get out and about. These are some of the things that Jesus gave us as examples of going about the Father's business. My prayer for each of you is that you remember what the Lord Jesus Christ asks of each of us. When in doubt, consult God's Word, the Holy Bible, or commune with God through prayer. Ask the Lord Jesus Christ for direction. He will never lead you astray. If you do all these things, I can almost guarantee you, when the Lord Jesus Christ returns, he will clearly see you going about the Father's business. Amen.